Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. Alright, let's craft together. Hey guys, today I'm coming on to talk about where are your um, digital images that you generated inside of your Discord um, and using Midjourney. So one of the things, if you're using the free version of Midjourney, you've already, you know, uh, signed in or signed up for Discord, you've already created your uh, or joined the Midjourney beta, and you're on the free version. So that means that when you go to generate your images, you're going to be in or on the mid journey um, in the mid journey area generating these images okay which is the little white sailboat when you log into discord so when you click on that it brings you in which i'm already there it uh, brings you to the room where you can actually see it's kind of like a chat chat room so if you're on the free version of mid journey then you're going to either look for newbies or either you're going to look for general. Newbies or general. Those are the only two places that you're going to be able to generate your images. I highly recommend that whatever one you select, you jot it down, keep a memory of it, because if you go out of it, especially if you're using general and you just click on one, you don't know which one you clicked, it, you're going to have to go through all these to figure out where your images are, okay? So it's best for you... Uh, like here's general one. I would just click on general one and just keep in mind that I'm in general one just in case I happen to go out, you know, and look at some other stuff. So while I'm in general one, I can go in and I can generate an image. So I'm going to do the forward slash imagine and I'm going to say um, pretty, uh oh, take my caps off. Do, do, do. Pretty woman standing, looking into the mirror. Okay, that's all I'm going to put. When I generate this image, guys, I have to use mine to wait until people that have requested their images before me are done. And then the mid job burning, <laughs> burning, <laughs> the mid. <laughs> The Mid Journey bot, me talking, trying to talk too fast. The Mid Journey bot will then generate your image, you know, when it's your turn. Okay. What I can highly tell you that will help you is that you're going to be looking for like an orange color um, outline that's going to be where your image is. So if you start, you know, scrolling up, looking at some of the other stuff, you'll be able to tell where your image is when you see that orange outline, okay, or the orange border. And so once mine is done here, I will show you what I am talking about. Okay, so here is mine, pretty woman looking into the mirror. And you can see here is this orange outline or orange border. That's one way that I know that's my image, okay? Now, I click on it because it's, let me see if it was done. Yep, so it's done. So I click on it. I can open it up in a new browser to get a better look at everything. Hold on one second. You know, you always get bloopers when you're working on something. All right, so it'll open it up in a uh, browser. And so I can see the images that I have requested. Pretty woman standing in the mirror. So there she is. All right. When you open up the image in a browser, you always want to exit out. Otherwise, you're going to have a slew of 
browsers open with images. So just exit out of it and then just click outside of the image and you're back in, you know, uh, Discord where you can continue to generate um, images, okay? So again, you'll know where your images are in the general one room or whichever room you selected and you can scroll up and down until you locate your images. And if that room is really full, guys, it can take a while for your image to generate, okay? So you can see all these images have been generating. Uh, let me make sure I didn't miss it. Okay, so you just have to, and this is the this is the downside of having a free account, guys, is that you have to get in where you fit in in these general and newbie rooms. Because there's uh, hundreds and thousands of other people out there that are also, you know, using the general and the newbies because they're on a free account and they're in here generating their, making their request as well. All right, so anyway, that's where the images are, okay? Now, if you can't find it in the general one room, then you can open up Midjourney, okay? Midjourney is a separate tab. And you just go to midjourney.com and this is where you joined the beta, okay? So I'm just gonna refresh my screen here and there's my image. My images that I generated in the general one room. So if you can't find it in that general one room, you can always log into Midjourney, not going through the Discord, but opening up a tab and going to midjourney.com and logging into your Midjourney, and you can find your images. Now, if you um, if you go to Community Showcase and you're looking at other people's work or this is where you were, it'll bring you here and you'll still think you can't find your images. All you have to do is click on home and it's going to take you to your images. Okay. So you'll be able to find all of your images inside of Midjourney when you can't find them inside of Discord. Okay. So if you get tired of scrolling, you know, looking for those images, just go to Midjourney. Okay. And you'll definitely find them there. Um, another thing is that I get asked a lot is, you know, how can you save your images and how can you get one image at a time instead of getting all four? Well, you can't get one. It's always going to give you four, um, results. It's always going to return four results. But what you can do is you can message the bot and ask them to separate out your images. Okay. So I'm going to generate one more request here for slash imagine. And I'm going to say, um, little boy riding his bike. And carrying dog. In the, I can't even spell this morning. Carrying, little boy riding his bike and carrying a backpack on his back. Okay. Oh, Lordy Jesus. Y'all, I don't know if I'm helping this morning, but I'm trying. <laughs> All right, there we go. Again. I just made my request. You can see it here because it's got that orange tint to it, that orange hue to it. That's the outline you're going to be looking for to find your work, okay? And you know that it's going to be upward, okay? So I'm going to give it a second here, and then I'm going to start scrolling. And here is mine. I automatically know when I see it because of that, orange, that orange tint. I was just there and then it moved. I have to scroll. 
scroll back up. All right, let's go back up. Always look for the orange, 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 orange. That's going to be your work. That's going to be the way you can tell your work from the slew of everybody else in here. I don't think it would have went up that far, but, you know, stranger things have happened. It goes fast, guys. I will tell you that much. <clears throat> okay, here it is. Little boy riding his bike, backpack on his back. So that's where your images are. And then I can click on this and I can do the envelope and message the bot. And then the bot separate these out to where I only have one of each image. You're going to have to go to the inbox because the bot is not going to respond to you here where your prompt is. You have to go up here to the top right where it says inbox. And then you can scroll down. You can see I have messaged the bot a lot and there's my individual images. And I can just click on it and say save images, blah, yada, yada, yada. But I don't want to save these because I'm just doing it for you guys. But there's all my images right there. Okay. So another way that you can get your images or find your images easier is once you locate your orange uh, tint to your images, you know, go ahead and message the bot so that he can separate them out into four individual images and then just go to the inbox. And the inbox, you'll be able to see your individual images there. Like all of these are my individual images where I have messaged the bot to send me my work, okay? So hopefully that will help you guys. Um, the only thing I can tell you is that's the best bet. Um, and like I said, always go back into Mid Journey, the actual tab for your Mid Journey. And you can go in and you can, um, if you're already logged into it, just click on reset here or refresh here in the top right corner, click on that and your images will be there. So you can see that was the first image that I requested and this was the second one that I requested. So they live inside of Mid Journey. You always wanna think of Mid Journey where you signed up for the beta. You always wanna think of that as your storage. OK, that's where it's going to store all of your images. And then um, when you're trying to generate an image, you're going to log into Discord, which looks like the chat room. And you're going to go to a general room or a newbie room. To generate your images, OK, and if you're ever, ever having issues, guys, if you're using the free version of Mid Journey, you can always come to the trial support you know, and click on trial support to get help. All right. And they are pretty quick about responding from what I've seen so far. Okay. So hopefully that will help you guys on how to locate your images. I get a lot of people upset because they say they've signed up for Mid Journey and they can't find their images. So hopefully this video will shed some light on how you can find your images um, when you're generating them in Discord and you're using the free version and then um, how you can go into Mid Journey and locate them if all else fails and you can't find them in the general uh, room, okay? And then I've answered the question on how you can get those images separated out instead of having to take that quadrant of four um, every time or take a, a snapshot of that every time, all right?
So hopefully this helps, guys. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. If you're currently in my Facebook group, Ken Doris is Cricket and Creative Crafters. I want to thank you guys so much for following me on Facebook. If you would like to join my Facebook group, it will be linked in the description of this tutorial. All you have to do is click on the link and then agree to the Facebook group rules and we'll get you in. And then if you're currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want to thank you guys so much for the love and support that you show via YouTube. If this is your first time seeing me and you like my method of teaching, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. And as always, my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have an amazing day. Bye.